we're calling this the Tomorrow Project. The machine takes every last detail of the past into account in predicting what will happen in the future. This will allow people to go into a simulation and discover how to make better decisions for humanity. We will attach monitoring chips to everyone free of charge, allowing us to collect detailed information, of course only for the use of the machines. Because of this process, the machine will be ready to use in three years. Here is an example of what the machine can be used for. See how the goalkeeper is able to see where the ball will go the second time, and so is able to save it? Imagine this on a global scale, with world leaders making the right decisions in terms of nuclear launches, famines and war. If you have any questions such as about the price, then please refer to our website at www.tomorrowproject.com. Before I finish, I'd like to thank Philip for the enormous help he has been. We've kept his last name from you for privacy reasons. At just 16 years old, Philip was able to crack what our scientists battled against for years, and as a result, completed the machine. If all goes well, he'll be helping run the machine in three years. Oh, Mrs. Smith, could you go towards number two, please? Alrighty, we'll just get ready to start. No worries. Alright, Mrs. Smith. So, we have one hand for resetting the simulation to a new day, mm -hmm. and two hands for breaking out of the simulation. Okay. Awesome. Oh, it was pretty good. A bit of hard work. Yeah, a bit of a challenge. Oh. You enjoy it though? Yes, I think so. Oh, well, that's the main thing, isn't it? You enjoy it. Mum, why am I so awkward around people? You're not! Yeah, I am. Whenever I try to say something, it comes out the wrong way. Whenever I try to make a joke, it's barely laughed at. I think sometimes you need to remember that even though you have a full-time job that many other people can't do, you're still only 18. You haven't finished growing up. Give yourself time to settle into the adult world. And if you're still having trouble, then you can worry about it then. Plus, you never know what tomorrow might bring. Did you see what that professor did? I know, right? Oh my goodness, it's like he doesn't even know what he's trying to teach! He doesn't know. But surely he has a good side, like everyone does. Um, how would you know? You don't even go to uni. Really, man? Come on. Did you see what that professor did? Yeah, I know, right? Oh my goodness, it's like he doesn't even know how to teach! He doesn't. Oh, guys, I had a teacher just like this in 12th grade, wrecked my entire year of chemistry. Oh, yeah. Like, how bad is it? I mean, like, oh my it's god. terrible, just teachers. These guys, man. Hi, and welcome to Channel 5 News. Tonight we'll be looking at the newest breakthrough in technology, the Tomorrow Project. Building off last week's coverage, there's been an uprise in people rioting to show their growing concern for the machine. They are saying it isn't fair, that it's too expensive, and that it takes away their precious privacy. We have lead scientist Christopher Lydon here with us now to give us an insider's opinion. Mr Lydon, what's your role in the project? My role is to maintain the function of the machine and manage the team. Now obviously you support the use of the machine. What's your response to the riots? The machine does what we made it to do. It can help anyone in the same way. While, yes I admit it's expensive, it costs so much to develop and it costs so much to run that you're getting what you pay for. Your information is never in danger. There is no way that you can be identified individually. It is simply a way for our leaders to make better decisions for the people of the world. Well thanks for your time Mr Lydon. Tell us what you think by tweeting us with hashtag CH5Tomorrow. Mum, what do you reckon? Well, to be completely honest, I think what that machine does to people isn't right. Just because some people are richer doesn't mean they should have an advantage over those who don't have the money. It could ruin people's lives and make the poverty gap even larger. 
What? Why do you ask? Well, I've been thinking of shutting down the machine, and if I did, it would be for good, because no one else knows how the final coat works. And the main reason I'm hesitating is because in the past few weeks, I've been sneaking in and out of the machine to become more popular. My friends have actually told me that I'm becoming a more likeable, more popular person for the first time in my life. And if I stop using the machine, I would lose that advantage. Well, I think you should do what you think is right. Right for you and right for everyone else.